Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. We're Rock, you're coming from the Bronx, NYC baby. Uh, today we just um, doing some DoorDash deliveries on foot. We do have the time, re time, two time research that we have to do. Time limit research, which will how to play, which is the route research. And I'm using the camera, so I have my phone, so I gotta use the phone and the screen recording at the same time. I left my GoPro at home. So yeah, we have two time research. We have the how to play, which is the route research, and um, the one with the the growlith, the growlith, the, the new growlith. Oh, I forgot <laughs> the, the Gen 9 growlith. Shout out to uh, Japan Level for the ticket. So yeah, we have to walk like 5k to get those to check check out those research. So and I'm, I might as well do it because I am working. So yeah, get the, get the time. Let's go get it. So we're gonna do the first check here the Fusion! Fusion Rowling! First check. And no shine. 541 CP on this one though. But yeah, let's go and follow the route. We're on the way to pick up another delivery out of Family Dollar. This is a shopping A order. Let's go get it. By the way, today's been raining. There's been floods, flood warnings all day today. It's horrible. That's why I didn't go on time today. It's too local. Because the trains, a lot of the subways have been shut down because of the waters on track. So yeah, that's why I stood here. We're gonna get this done. Let's go get it. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna do another check here. Check number two. And is not shiny. 546. We got this one. And the train. It ain't worth it. It ain't, ain't worth it without it. Without the <laughs> subway, about yeah, yeah, no, no, shiny on it. Um, you're on the way to again to family dollar. You do some shopping pay. The door that's that shopping pay orders as well. They those are the ones that pay pretty good. It's just um, it's a hassle of actually getting to the destination and then looking for the individual items. So, yeah, let's get that done. We were like a block away from me. So, yeah, shiny. Oh, I just got this one too, by the way, shiny Phoebus. <laughs> Reversal. Check it out, we got some shiny fevers here. Let's go. I forgot what CPU was, was it, but yeah, we got shiny fevers. We don't need it, but yeah, it's nice. I take the shiny. I take it. All right, let's go. Let's go shopping now. We got the diapers <laughs> we got the wipes not my not mine not me or not mine by the way <laughs> uh we, next shiny check here guys next shiny check is 502 cp growler not shiny uh, i don't need the regular one i need a new one come on let's do another check here and no no shiny no shiny in the houston oh my god dude. oh well let's go drop this off yeah, yeah. successful drop off another check and it's a regular dollars not shiny not shiny you got no delivery pick up here this bakery you gotta go a little bit further up to go get it and we also got to see this check this out a wild arcanine how crazy is that how crazy is that oh limo how crazy is that seeing a wild arcanine in a while uh we haven't seen i have not seen a Arcanine in a while and hot many since, since the game launched probably I think maybe like a few times but anyway it's cool to see where spawns had this all right first on the street come to a nice delivery let's get it No 
another pickup request. We're going to Popeyes now. Nope. And no check. And we get here. And no shiny. Five sixteen though. On this one though. Regular growl. If we're looking for the Houston, the new, the new shiny. That's the one we're looking for. All right. Let's go to Popeyes and make this drop off. And then we got another check after that. So here's the little little seats, it's not far. It's just across, just like a little bit halfway to some view park over here. And next track is actually the A to Z, A to Zygar. Few research. I need to do five routes. That took forever simply because um in the Bronx there was no there's no really routes out here. Uh, I made two in my area and like two or three of them were rejected. One of them was considered unsafe. It was just so funny. But yeah, um, I finally get it, got it. I did a few downtown, but that's, a lot of them were not registering for some reason. Like it doesn't work in reverse. It's supposed to, but it doesn't work in reverse. So here I did, I followed the two that, that I did. And um, that's it, yeah, I finished it. Let's go, all right, let's go drop this off. Soundview Park, the lights are going down. So I was like, it looks a little bit brighter here, but it's actually getting dark <laughs> because of the phone. It looks brighter, but it's actually getting dark. This part here at night, it is crazy dark. There's a few obviously lights on the streets, but inside the park, it is crazy dark. It is extremely dangerous. But guess what? Your boy walks through the streets, walks across the parks here in New York to do these deliveries at all hours of the day. Uh, even even overnight, I've done it. It's dangerous, yes, but hey. The money, I gotta do what I gotta do. Yet, yeah, yes, I'm foot. As you can see, I'm walking, I'm walking, but doing deliveries. Okay, so we just finished the routes. We just finished the routes for so the out of time research. Um, just finished that. So, we're just gonna claim all these stardust, claim all these stardust, get this um, incense, and shiny check this right here. Shiny check, yeah, no, no shiny, but yeah. Yeah, uh, this is done. That's done. We still got a few more checks over at the the other research. So let's just get that, get those last few checks in. Let's go. Ah, this. That's turning a cable force. Fourteen plates. No, I love you. This is the only down bad part about this is that since I'm walking, I there is a feature for you to use DoorDash and Uber Eats and walk more, but for some reason they stop sending me orders and walk more. Uh, so I have no choice. I have to I have the car, but the car uh, I, I have the car. I have it in car mode or I have it, I either have car mode or bike mode. Uh, but I have it in bike mode since. I'm able, I'm unable to use the car. To be honest, the car has been, the car's gone, guys. If you guys don't, do not know, the car is gone. The car has been towed by the city, and now it's gonna cost us over a thousand, few thousand dollars to get it back. A thousand dollars alone just to get it out of the impound shop, and then maybe more because it's already been there for like a week or so, like you know, like a, like a few weeks already, and. And then top of that, registration and insurance. So yeah, it's gonna cost a few hundred thousand, few thousand dollars. Something that could, something that they could easily would have been fixed for a few hundred dollars. But since I was working and I was by myself, I couldn't do it. Now 
it's gone so anyway since i don't have the car anymore and i don't have a bike or a scooter i gotta do it on foot so what i do is i put the door dash i put it um the highest level of go like kilometers 1.2 or 1.2 to 1.2 to 1.4 kilometers far but still i get deliveries that are far like this one it's gonna pop up in the screen and now i have to walk all the way down to southern boulevard and yeah it's it's a hassle to get the, the drop pickup the, the store the, the the drop off point is not far but to get there is far and then to do the shopping and all that stuff and then they do rush you they do definitely do rush you they do rush you you got a certain amount of time so if, they, if, you, if the app sees you you're not moving the algorithm just, just gives you an alert why aren't you moving whatever and then like three three strikes you're out you know by the third alert they they, they remove it so anyway we're walking there let's see if we get there in time well that was another another drop off another shopping pay pick up and drop off uh, someone someone stole the bike someone left a, a, a nice bike in front of the store <laughs> the guy went out it was gone it was there when i went in so i might put a little bit of a clip here of it. <laughs> <laughs> who leaves a bike in the Bronx outside without being tired mine was stolen in 2019 in July 5th 2019 right in front of my house and it was chained up <laughs> yeah so we have another pickup uh, we are going to I even forgot where we are going right now Oh, I think it's a uh, little scissors again. Another little season. All right, so we're gonna do another pickup. Another, another pickup. So, but we, before that, we'll do two checks here. Uh, the first check is the Paldia Adventure check. <laughs> we haven't, we have just finished that. So now we got, they just claimed that. Now we're gonna next step. I doubt I'll be able to do this. This is not gonna be done today. All these, all these. I gotta catch a Pokemon every 14 days or something like that. Straight. Yeah, this is, this is gonna take about a little while to finish up. All right, so we do have another check here, another gravis check. I'm trying to check this, and it's not shining. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna get the shine. We only got three more checks left for this research. All right, three more checks, three more deliveries, and then we call the day. Let's go. All right, another drop off, another shiny check here. Check another one here, and no one shiny. 509 CP on this one, regular rally. All right, so we got three more checks. We got three more checks to do. Um, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I do the last two checks. I get home, gonna get some food, and yeah, that's it. It's pretty much late. Uh, this is shop. This is some Boulevard. We are in some Boulevard shopping district at the moment. I work here for like I work here in a different different store location. A lot of the stores I used to work here are no longer open. But I worked from 1998 to 2010 about four different four or five different stores location including this one right here um, it's a different name now but I'm pretty sure it's the same company this one right here called Leslie Joyce that was my first place I worked here back in 1998 uh, used to call this one one women clothing store but yeah I worked out here a few times Few did years, but anyway, I'm gonna go home. Just time to eat, and we do the last checks later. It's cool. It's good. All right, so we're back home, and actually, it's been a few weeks since that last clip. Um, as you could tell, just got a haircut today, so yeah, uh, I was looking at Kurt Sandstone again. But yeah, it's been a few weeks. Um, I mean, I was meaning to end it the next day, working on town, but um, certain things happened, and I wasn't able to, and then other stuff started started happening and and I, if you guys are un, unaware but yeah those who are aware you know the situation i've been going through for the past two weeks so yeah i i just spaced out and i didn't care about it <clears throat> so i decided to just now finish this video and um i do have other vlogs still to edit like like from back from Goldfest and and global golfers i think it was i have a few i have a few, definitely several videos blogs to edit i'm gonna edit those 
and that will be the end of it uh, i don't think i'll be editing any more vlogs for now um i'm gonna concentrate just doing shorts and stuff like that um maybe live streams but i doubt it if i do any live stream will be like playing the modern warfare 3 um game that's coming out next month it'll be over on my twitch so if you want to follow me on twitch the link is in below um i doubt i'm maybe i'll come back and i need just need to take some time i need um again if you guys don't know what's going on um yeah i'm going through something personal um follow me on twitter you probably you see the stuff but yeah um better not say speak about it here on the blog but yeah i've been going through some personal stuff and it has affected me a lot um going through depression anxiety and all that stuff i wasn't even motivated to even come out of the room to even work this past week i haven't worked at all i've done like a few deliveries since this whole incident yesterday i did a few and the day before that i did like two and that's about it that's it so yeah i'm um, going to into a timeout i do need time to clear my mind clear myself and let's see but anyway i'm gonna end the blog here and i'm gonna just show you real quick the last few checks the let um let me just real quick check it out the last check was a growlith regular growlith not shiny obviously and the last check is a i believe it was another the Husing growlith it was a Husing growlith 544 and no shiny so i didn't get the shiny i did not get the shiny which sucks and i just here i'm gonna put up the the total of how i did on that day doing doordash again i only did a few deliveries um it wasn't much i would say about it says here i did about 1325 but it was i did three orders that day because how doordash us is while you're online it, it adds up money and then once you end the dash it goes into your wallet so whatever you have in your wallet will add up together so if you did like if you online like for like two hours and you end the dash the money goes into your wallet then you start online again a different that's will be a different shift and different route then it'll restart it'll add up whatever then at the end of the day it'll add up everything obviously you go in the wallet you could check to see you know so you could cash out it's not like uber that it, it whatever shows in the wallet that's what you have you know or yeah it has the top it says what you current have you made made currently on the trips but then when you cash out or we go in your wallet so if you had anything from before it adds up but if you have cashed out completely then whatever's in your wallet is the same thing you have up here doordash is different that doordash will show you <clears throat> on the screen what you currently have on that dash once you end then it adds up whatever you have in your wallet so if you did a few few schedule shifts per day then you will have to check your wallet to see how much the total is yeah, I'm, and the trips are like they're different they don't really stand out as much so according to this i did um don't remember how many they did that day it says here three but i did more than three i did a pop i did i did a I did a popeyes it says here, I, did, I did do a popeyes the block says no popeyes but I, I, I don't think i recorded that popeyes trade that's what happened <laughs> i skipped the trip <laughs> i did a few family dollars yeah family a little caesar family dollars um, and her watch, but the point is, I'm trying to see what the total was. The total was 57, 5710. That's how much I had on that one trip, on that one outing. 5710, which is not bad for just a few deliveries. But again, you like, you really have to be out all day. You really need to be out all day to make decent money. Uh, Shop and pay are the ones that actually pays the most. Um, it just that since I'm like I said I'm walking it takes a long time to get from one point A to point B but um, I get in them I get in them but yeah that's pretty much it it was a decent day um, the key to this is to become top dasher how you come how you become top dasher keep your ratings above 94 percent I think it is or 94 95 percent um, your acceptance rate also up as a same, same thing I'm with the same same um, same uh average 94 95 percent and you have to have at least 100 deliveries each month if you keep 100 deliveries completed each month and your ratings are up high then yes you will get top dash and you could dash anywhere i did it i had top dash back in florida california and i on a drive from california 
to New York. We did stop a few times, actually, especially from Florida. We did stop a few ways along the way, and we went online. So we were literally were up with with the with the car full of luggage, full of everything, full full of all our stuffs. We had no space to move. Here I am putting deliveries on top of me while driving, just so I could make a few bucks for gas. But yeah, that's a key. That's a good thing about getting top dash. You could go online anywhere in the states, anytime, anywhere. So that's key is try to get top dasher. But again guys, this is the end of the blog. Appreciate the support. If you like, you enjoyed the video. I may I may do some again. But for now, I'm just gonna take some time. But yeah, um appreciate your support. And if you like, subscribe and yeah, you could probably catch me live on my Twitch. Um when things get better, I may just come back and like live stream a more um Pokemon Go raids and stuff like that. Whenever I feel better, but for now I'm just gonna take some time for myself i appreciate your support you guys and i'll see you in the next one peace out with roxanne and all.